Catherine, what did you learn over the break? This break, I learned the power of tradition. Hmm. Um, I love New Year's, no surprise. My family is Hispanic, and most Hispanic families usually eat 12 grapes um, as the clock is counting down for New Year's. And we always make a wish on each grape, or a goal, of what you want to happen in the next year. As long as I can remember, I have been writing down all the little, like all the wishes that I've wanted. I have a list that dates back to like 2005. And the goal, you know, I was like, I don't know, 13. And, and to see like the goals that I have for myself now, like 15 years later, is just a great, I don't know, way to catalog your life. And this year, my little brother turned 14 and he's caring about things he's never cared about before. So I told him about this tradition and he got so into it and it felt, it felt so good to, to pass this down and us writing our list together of all the of all the things that we want to happen. I, I'm super supportive of any sort of mindful practice, right? Like, and I do think actually one thing that I love about what they what Catherine does is you she puts it down on paper. I think that's actually really important is to like get out of your head. Basically, we're just tracking. She's talking about tracking her her goals and her habits, and, and that that's great. I love yeah. it. Thank you so much for sharing. Can you share any of the goals that you put down or maybe just the two or three that you are focusing on the most? Oh, oh, I want to send in my Survivor audition tape. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yes. Well, good luck. I... Okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Catherine.